First up tonight, as students are heading back to the classroom, there is one group that may have it a bit harder than the rest. Foster children. Fox 26's Gabby Hart joining us live with some of the issues that they face and what's being done to bridge the gap. Gabby. Uh, well, Jonathan, most students feel some sort of anxiety when it comes to starting a new school or a new grade. But for children in foster care, that anxiety can be heightened. And some of the issues that they face is a large part of the reason that foster children in our state never go on to receive their high school diploma. Not having that support and normalcy like other biological kids. 52% of 19 year olds leave the Texas foster care system without a high school diploma or GED. That's according to kidscount.org. And as many students are excited about the new school year, this is often a time of dread and anxiety for foster children. The kids that are in care, they don't have um, the ex more expensive clothes or, or shoes that the other ki kids may have. Um, you know, they can't get their hair done every day or a style that they may like. Nowadays, you know, a lot of kids don't like to go to school because of bullies. Taranisha Van is the foster and adoption supervisor with Arms Wide Adoption Services here in Houston. She says in addition to not fitting in and dealing with trauma, one of the main issues holding foster children back is moving from foster home to foster home, which also means moving from school to school. It sets them back a lot because one, it could be even like di from district to district. Every district is on a different curriculum. Van says transferring credits can be difficult. In many cases, foster children are forced to repeat a grade or they just drop out due to embarrassment. So what can be done to help improve the outcome? Van says getting more people to open up their homes is a good start. Our agency is out there in the community trying to uh, recruit new families because it is a lack of foster parents here in, in Texas. Local foster agencies are working directly with school districts and setting up education teams to help emphasize the importance of foster children furthering their education. Yeah, and once again, these agencies really driving home the fact that there's a major need for foster parents to take in children over the age of 12 years old uh, to help them get their education uh, for a brighter future. If you'd like more information about that or how to become a foster parent, you can head over to our website, fox26houston.com. We will have that information listed for you there. For now, I'm reporting live, Gabby Hart, Fox 26 News.